Hey there, Will Williamson from JDR here. This video is called Small Differences Add Up, How Small Incremental Changes Grow Your Business. So one of the things when we're reviewing a website, um, we look at what the website is actually producing for your business in terms of how many leads it's creating, but also how many leads of, uh, are then converting into customers and how much revenue those customers bring. So uh, we often uh, review people's stats at the start. And then when we're working with you as a client, we review that as we go along. And uh, as a result, we've got a fair amount of data. So uh, we have stats on average progress as uh, clients work with us. And uh, we have um, reviewed uh, in-depth uh, analysis we've done on 41 um, website marketing reports, which we ran, where we were able to get not just how much traffic was going to the website, but also how many leads were being generated. And we got some averages from those 40 businesses. So uh, the average was generating around 700 visits to their website per month, and we're getting around 16 leads or inquiries per month. So this is our calculator where we look at what what, what's your website actually producing for you? So in this example, you're getting 700 visitors to your website and uh, you're getting about 16 uh, inquiries. So that would be about a conversion rate of 2.3. There we go. Um, so in other words, 97.7% uh, of the people visiting your website leave and don't do anything, but 2.3% do make an inquiry. So from your 700 visitors, you get 16 inquiries. Now, if you get 16 inquiries to your business, people asking about your services, um, some of those will uh, be overseas out of your territory. You won't be able to help them. They'll be asking you about services you can't provide or when you tell them how much it's going to cost, they won't want to pay for it. Um, so you won't convert all 16 into actual customers. Um, there'll be some where it's a really good inquiry, but you don't end up actually winning it. A fairly typical conversion rate is, say, 20%, one in five of those inquiries converting into new customers. Depends on the business, depends on the industry, nature of the, uh, of the service, and so on. But if we use that as a fairly typical example, um, then in this case, if this was your website, um, you're getting 700 visits, you're getting 16 inquiries a month, you get one in five on average, so just over three new customers a month, which means over the course of 12 months, over the course of an average year, your website is bringing you 38 new customers every year. Average value of those customers, let's say your average customer spends £10,000 a year with you, then your website would be generating a grand total of £386,000 of revenue every year. So when we know what the existing funnel looks like, then you can start to look at making some improvements. Now, we have, again, a different study that we did looking at uh, before and after results over a 12-month period. And um, we saw average increases of 191% in website traffic uh, and 159% in website conversion rate. Those two combining lead to this middle figure of 654%. So if I click into the middle tab here, we've got those two increases. So uh, 700 visits a month goes to, with 191% increase, goes to 2,000 visits a month. And the 2.3% conversion goes to a 6% conversion. So instead of generating 16 inquiries a month, you're generating now 121 customers. Uh, inquiries per month. So if we're able to maybe improve the lead to conversion rate as well, an average customer rate will get even better figures. If we just look at those two, then um, we've got 121 new leads. Assuming they convert at the same rate, you're now generating 291 customers a year rather than 38.6 or whatever it is. It's rounded up on this page. Customer spend remains the same. So now our website is generating 2.9 million pounds a year rather than 386,000 pounds. So increasing those two figures significantly has a huge impact and generates 2.5 million pounds worth of extra revenue per year. 
uh, but it doesn't need to be that dramatic. Um, if you were to, uh, to increase each of these figures by just 10%, then do you see just a 10% increase at the bottom? No, you don't, because those 10% increases don't just add up, they multiply up. So um, a small increase in website traffic, a small increase in website conversion rates, a small increase in uh, the conversion of leads into sales and a small increase in the value of your customers by targeting better value customers, etc. Means that instead of generating £386,000 a year, your website is now generating £565,000 a year, an additional £179,000. It's almost a 50% increase in your revenue generated just from applying 10% increases in those four areas. Now, when you do that, yes, you've generated uh, a significant amount of extra revenue um, adding to your bottom line, um, but also you should see those benefits the following year and the year after that and the year after that. So um, <clears throat> this graph shows how that can look over five years and how those improvements can really add up. So in this column, we've got in this row, rather, we've got years one, two, three, four and five. Um, we've got an assumption that you're making a £25,000 investment annually in marketing. So in the first year, you've generated 51 customers, and then another 51 customers the next year, and another 51 customers the next year, and so on. Now, we actually know that um, results continue to get better over time um, as we get improvements in website traffic and improvements on the number of leads. So actually, that figure... Uh, is likely to to grow and improve on average over time. But assuming that stays the same, then those 51 customers are bringing in a revenue of £565,000. We're going to assume that you're going to lose some of those customers. So uh, in year one, you've generated 51 new customers. In year two, you've generated 51 customers. Again, plus you've got last year's customers but you're going to lose 75% of them. So that means overall you're now on 90 and so on. So that the number of customers then grows, assuming they're all spending £10,000 a year on average, some will be more, some will be less, then the amount of year generated, the amount of revenue generated from your marketing activities just builds up and up and up. And as you can see, so that's really significant then after, after five years and uh, when you look at the cumulative uh, return, it's absolutely enormous. So uh, that's what the cumulative graph looks like. That's the, the in gradually improving marketing results. So you can see that by applying small changes in a number of these areas, going back to our, our funnel, um, your website of 700 visits a month, generating 16 inquiries, can be very good, uh, but it can be absolutely fantastic in a few years' time if you work at even just making small improvements consistently over a period of time. So I think that's a really good um, principle to grasp and how small things really add up over time. Um, and of course, one of the, the, the key things is actually to know those numbers, which is why HubSpot is so important, having the reports and analytics that enable you to track the results and progress along the way uh, is incredibly valuable. So uh, that's why we use HubSpot, so that we can help report on, track and measure that type of progress. So I hope that's useful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.